Hey guys, what is up? It's Tickety here back with another video. And today, guys, I'm gonna go in and show you guys some of the best settings for OBS on your Mac, whether you're just streaming on Twitch or doing a screen recording to ensure that everything is nice and smooth. Before we start though, this video is mostly for streaming and recording gameplay, since that usually tends to be very choppy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Now starting off, let me go ahead and tell you the specs of this Mac that I'm using to demonstrate this with. I'm currently using the 2017 13-inch MacBook Pro with Touch Bar that has an Intel Core i5 clocked at 3.1GHz, an Intel Iris Plus Graphics 650, and finally 8GB of RAM. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now starting off for the best performance, you are actually going to go to settings, video, and set both the base and output resolution to 1280 by 720 Note that unless your actual monitor is 1280 by 720 you are going to have to change your game settings too down to 1280 by 720 or you're going to be left with a bunch of black space. Now leaving it at 30fps is going to help with making a recording or stream less laggy, but generally for gameplay recording and streaming, you do want to have it at 60fps. Next, for more complicated stuff, go ahead and select output mode in settings and then click on advanced for the output mode. Next, if you do have a dedicated graphics card, make sure to select that for your encoder. If you don't like me, then select x264, which basically is going to use the CPU to encode it, but that is going to be a lot more difficult. Anyway, next go ahead and select CBR for your rate control, and leave your bitrate somewhere around 2500 to 4000 depending on the Mac that you have. If you do go under 2500 however, you might expect something like this, which isn't great. Next, for the CPU usage preset, make sure that it is on super fast, since ultra fast sometimes could cause problems or crashes, despite it being less taxing on your CPU. Anyways, after that, you can leave everything else alone. Alright, so guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to leave a like, and if you'd like to see more tech tutorials just like this, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.